Alrighty, so it is three after. Um, if we have a few stragglers, that's okay. Um, Ayana, are you ready to get started? Yes. All right, perfect. So just to get started, we're just gonna do a few housekeeping things. So first off, thank you so much for joining us today. This is the DIY Health Care Edition Workshop. Um, it is going to be facilitated by Anna Wilson. So she is a student worker here um, at the Office for Sustainability. She works on the communication team. So you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. She does a lot of that awesome stuff that we put out. So her and I both work together. Um, yeah, so before we get started, before I hand it over to Ayana, um, you do get signature credit for being here today. So I'm just gonna put a link in the chat. Um, let me make sure that comes through. One moment, let me make sure it's the right link. This one's pretty long. Okay. Okay, it just happens to be a really long link. If you click this link and you are signed in with your GoWU information, you do get signature credit for this. So go ahead and click that link, get that credit. <coughs> um, other than that, it's going to be um, a really good workshop. If you have any questions throughout the time, please just put those in the chat. If we need to stop to have those questions answered, I will like kindly let Ayana know. We can like pause and address that question. Um, otherwise, I will just be responding to you in the chat throughout or um, we can go over those at the end, just kind of whatever fits the question you're asking. Um, you're more than welcome to turn on your cameras. Um, it's just a small group today, so we'll probably um, have some time to be able to like, see each other's faces. If you're not comfortable with it though, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to Ayana and I hope you all enjoy. Hi everyone, just give me a moment. I'm just sharing my screen. Um, here we go. Start. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, um, thank you MC for introducing me. As MC said, um, my name's Ayana. This is the DIY self-care edition workshop and thank you for joining us. So starting off, um, as said, um, thank you for thanking, dedicating time for yourselves and showing up for yourself and taking time to learn about self-care. So learn about different types of self-care. Um, as MC said, my name is Ayanna Wilson. I am a communication ambassador for the Office for Sustainability. I am a senior here studying public relations and typically I'm known as a really busy person. Um, and before the pandemic kind of like halted that over my time at western i've been active in eight registered organizations organizations working three jobs on top of taking 16 to 15 15 to 16 credit hours so to say like i'm busy and i've stayed busy is like an understatement um and self-care for the most part, hasn't always been on the top of my list. Um, so I'm, this workshop is also holding myself accountable to take care of myself. And um, uh, so we all need to have a community around us that uh, we can kind of hold each other accountable when it comes to taking care of each other and make sure we're checking in with ourselves um, and showing up for ourselves. Um, I am no way an expert on self-care. Um, I am learning as I go and I just do the things that make me happy and make fit well for me in my schedule and what I love to do. Um, and self-care is especially important in the times that we are in now and how life is constantly changing. Um, and so for this workshop, currently all you need to need is to be present for yourself um, and something to write with, whether it's your phone, a notebook, or you can even make a mental note, pen or paper. So we're gonna move over to the next slide. Oh, 
Um, okay, so starting with a little note of songs of the week, my personal playlist. So one thing about me is I love music and anything I do, whether it's been me being a mentor or anything, I try to include songs of the week. Um, these songs of the week typically are um, things that I like to just throw on if I just want to be in a good mood, need affirmations, just um, something that just came out that really caught my ear. So these are just some of the songs for my personal playlist song of the week. So I'm going to start off with um, Self Care by Savannah Christina. This song is very like R&B slow. If you just want to relax, uh, she has a video where like she's singing it on the beach and there's waves behind her. So it's really calming, relaxing. Um, and I discovered Savannah Christina um the beginning of last year she also has um several songs that are really good um from self-care and she has another song called self-love um and then the next song is by a rapper um young baby tay featuring flo millie and it's called i am and this song i it came out at the just i believe december 2020 and this song is like gives you affirmations it it for me it uplifts me makes me really happy just like um and you might catch yourself doing some i am affirmation and um this song is really catchy sticks in your head and it's always upbeat and it's on her album um called after the rain so it's just something that i like to listen to to make sure that um i'm really affirming myself and trying to upbeat. There's a lot of songs that I try to like find that is really get my day started. I might sing this song in the mirror. I might randomly start singing the song in the middle of my apartment. So yeah, that is just two of the songs. And then next is Self Care by Taking the Bangas, the Jamie Woods, Orleans Big, and Jelly. This song um, is really, their style is everywhere. Um, for Taking the Bangas, it's R&B, soul, um, and it's really entertaining. The, the video is very visually pleasing. And if you're a big fan of Tiny Desk concerts, they have a really good Tiny Desk concert. And I just love to listen to them. And um, their music takes you on a journey of just everywhere of um listen to them musically and then lastly is grounded by um Ari Lennox I'm a big fan of Ari Lennox um this one is also an R&B song if you couldn't tell by my song choices for my personal playlist um I'm very much a R&B soul type listener um but I do listen listen to every genre um these are just some of the songs that I just like to um put on to for myself keep going um whether it's I want to be upbeat or just want to relax. And then next, okay, so this is when your journal is going to come, come in. So the self check-in, this is something that is just for yourself. This is nothing that we're going to share out. Um, it's just a moment to make sure that you're checking in with yourself because sometimes we're so busy and forget to be like, okay, how was my day? Like really, how was my day and not, um the program answer of when someone asks you um how are you doing and you automatically said fine or i'm good or um living the dream or something like that um so the questions on the screen is um how have you shown up for yourself this week if not how can you show up for yourself um what are 10 things that are important to you um honestly how's your day been what has brought you joy? Um, sorry, I just gotta move oop, move this a little bit. What has brought you joy? Uh, what has made you unhappy this week, today, or this month? The next, how 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 did you how did your best day this week go? If there hasn't been one, how can you make next week better? And what are you grateful for? 
So you can choose one of these questions. We're gonna go ahead and break for like five minutes. Feel free to journal out, choose one of the questions. And then once the, I'm gonna even journal out on my little journal um, and I wanna set a timer, uh, feel free if you feel like um, uh, while you're journaling, you turn your camera off and I'll let you know um, when we can come back. So go ahead and I'll just um, set a timer for five minutes. Alrighty, so that was five minutes. Um, thank you for everyone um, participating in self check in. Um, I try to do these um, at least once a week, um, just to check in with myself because um, sometimes I can get a little caught up in having assignments due or working and trying to just go with my usual routine and I forget that I'm a person outside of the things that I'm obligated to do. Um, so hopefully this is something that if you haven't already incorporated in your routine, you can incorporate. So yes, so next we're gonna go into the next slide. What is self-care? So can we, um, and what is self-care to you? So if anybody feel, wants to share out feel free to unmute um so what is self-care to you to me especially over the past month it's i put a lot of people's needs before my own so sometimes just taking a step back and kind of realizing that sometimes it's okay to put my own needs above other, above other people's because if i'm not at my best if i'm not at a hundred percent then i can't give as much to other people as i think that i am Yeah, I agree with that totally. I feel like um, balancing what time I need compared to what other people, and I want to spend time with my friends and family on Zoom and phone, and and I kind of want maybe to more than ever to have that connection, but then it feels like I just don't have any time to myself or just to read or just to relax. and. So it's trying to find that balance, especially now it feels like, um, because I don't want to be too secluded either. So it's like, and in the normal times, you just automatically are, you know, being social and do, but right now I feel like I have to make that effort. And so it's just trying to balance that, making sure I do stay connected because if I don't, then I feel really bad. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm not, kind of feeling like I'm not calling my friends enough. It's been like a month since I talked to my sister and it's just, it's, it's more, it takes more of an effort for me right now to reach out and make sure I'm connected. But then I feel like I kind of go overboard. <laughs> so it is like a balancing constantly. Yes. I would agree with those both. Um, and especially now self care for me is looking a little bit different than it looked pre-pandemic. Um, um, so yes, thank you for sharing out though. I totally agree with those um, responses. Um, and so just uh, according to the very well mind, self-care is a conscious act of, conscious act one takes in order to promote their own physical, mental, and emotional health. So it's just, that is just a very short and brief of what you both just said. So thank you for sharing out and sharing what is self-care for you. So there are different types of self-care. There's physical, there's social, mental, spiritual, and emotional. Um, we're just gonna go over a couple things of self-care um, that I like to do. Um, there for me in my self care routine, I try to incorporate at least one day a week. Um, being completely transparent though, these past month, this past month, my self care days have gone out the window. Um, but I'm trying to get back in the routine of making sure I have my designated self care day, um, and being more mindful of that. Um, but 
in the next couple of slides, I'm going to go over how you can um, do like little self, so, oh, words, sorry, um, <laughs> small self care things. Um, these are more like DIY items. So we have um, the DIY self care part portion now. Um, starting with the brown sugar body scrub um, and a lavender um, um, bath blend. So um, we're gonna get into those um, and just how to make them, what you can do. And then after that, you'll be able um, to think of like your own personal self-care box as well. Um, so those will be the, the DIY portion of this uh, workshop. So next is the brown sugar body scrub. So I have some brown sugar here. Um, and some of these are very optional. Um, I have vanilla, vanilla, I have essential oils, lavender, and you just need your oil of choice. Um, this is coconut oil, um, but you can do your, whatever works best for you, honestly. It could be um, avocado oil. Um, I personally use coconut or avocado oil. I also have sweet almond oil. Um, I, keep, I try to keep my oils stocked in my apartment, um, especially during the winter time, keep my skin like perfect-ish. Um, <laughs> um, and so yeah, it's your oil of choice. And this can be anything that you want it to be. It can be your body scrub. You can use it as a lip scrub to exfoliate your lips, go into your skin. So yeah, so I'm gonna start with the brown sugar scrub. Um, so I'm gonna have some brown sugar and also a little shameless plug. Um, if you haven't already, you can pick up um, your um, bamboo utensils, um, you get one free bring, uh, bamboo Eco Essentials product from the Office for Sustainability. All you need is a valid Bronco ID card. Um, and we have an uh, Eco jug, canvas tote, and bamboo utensils. So yes. Um, so. Oh, excuse me, Anna. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry. Do you mind just um, unsharing your screen just so we can see you larger? Yes, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Not better. <laughs> um, so, um, so the brown sugar, vanilla, essential oils. These are these three are optional. So, I'm gonna take some brown sugar. Um, coconut oil and you the amount that you use is totally up to you um if i can get this open um there we go so i'm going to start off with a little just a dab of vanilla just to, for like some smell and i like the smell vanilla and lavender um lavender is one of my favorite scents um but it adds to it so i'm just adding some lavender and i'm adding another essential oil and i'll add some coconut oil and the liquid amounts will depend on how you want your consistency. Um, it would definitely depend on how you want your consistency, consistency, whether you want it more dry, if um, you don't. So then once you put all the ingredients in, you just go ahead, mix it up. And excuse the big chunks in here, but Sometimes when you do the body um, scrubs, the big chunks can be like really useful and you can kind of like just 
weigh them down on your skin. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a dab more coconut oil. Um, just for the big chunks and then as you can see, just the consistency for that. And then this is like quick, simple. A lot of these um, you may have uh, with you already, some brown sugar um, and oil. Those are only two, like the other three are optional. It's just my personal choice. Um, and then you just take it and you can rub it on your skin. I don't have water right now, but rub it on your skin and then it'll exfoliate a little bit. You can do this like while you're taking a shower. Um, it'll change the, and you might notice like a difference in like the softness and everything in your skin. Um, and that's just one way. Um, you can also uh, use it as a lip scrub to exfoliate your lips. Uh, so that is the, the body scrub. Next, we're going to move into the uh, bath blend. Mm -hmm. The lavender bath bath blend. So I'm using one of my favorite um, containers. Uh, this is an old candle container, just reusing it. You know, I never knew what to do with old candle containers, but until, but instead of just throwing away, go ahead and put them to get use. Um, so for this one, all you need is some Epsom salt. I'm using the Epsom salt um, up and up from Target. Um, I believe I spent three or four dollars or something like that on it. Um, and I'm using the Himalayan pink salt version and some lavender um, and some coconut oil. Again, it's your oil, oil of your choice, honestly. Uh, again, you can use coconut oil, avocado oil, almond oil, sweet almond oil. Um, it was just with the almond oils, you kind of have to be careful if you have like a, a nut allergy or anything. So yeah, um, but work with the oil that works best for your skin, works best for you. Um, and this is just a simple bath um, blend. You can put a ton of things into your bath blend if you enjoy baths and anything. So I might use this to, um, like on my one of my self-care days um my self-care days typically happen on a sunday and i might uh throw, throw put my speaker on throw a bath throw my bath blend in there um and some bubbles some really good bath bubbles you can never go wrong with some bath bubbles um so we're gonna get started with the lavender salt blend so you're gonna go ahead and for the amount desired for the base, the base will be the Epsom salt. And this smells really good. It's actually really strong. Um, okay, so have this in here. And like the whole lavender flowers, you can get it at a health food store. I got this. I'm from Grand Rapids, um, so there's Harvest Health Foods, and so um, I go to the health food, health food store, get some herbs, um, get lavender, rose petals, uh, anything that you want in it, honestly. My favorite, one of my favorite scents is lavender, um, so I choose to do lavender. Um, if I can get it open, there we go. Then we pour a little the lavender. The amount that you desire. Um, and then I'm just, just for a personal choice, because lavender is my favorite scent, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little lavender scent. And just add your oil of choice. 
And this is the same with the body scrub to where the, the oil amount is really dependent on how you would like your consistency. consistency. So you just go ahead and mix it up. And personally, this is kind of like the consistency that I like. Um, and then those are just the three simple steps for the salt fat, salt, lavender salt blend. So you just make it with those three items. Um, thinking about it, I'm gonna say I've spent three or four dollars on this, three or four dollars on this. Um, depending where you get your oil from, it can be kind of expensive, but it depends. This was from CVS, and sometimes CVS can be a little bit pricey, but um, if you get it, um, check your local health food store or anything like that. Um, you can get your oil of choice for a reasonable price. Um, so honestly, if I had my normal oil, which is the avocado, I believe this would cost about like 10 or so dollars. Um, and the brown sugar, I, I want to say around the same price. Um, so yeah, those were those two DIY um, items. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen really fast. Oh. All righty. Okay. So those were the two two out of three DIY self-care items. And next we're gonna go to self-care self tips. Um, just, these are just some of the tips um, that I found off someone's Twitter that I follow and they tweet a lot of um, tips and everything and some of the tips that I enjoy. So um, some examples are taking a bubble bath or a nice warm shower, um, letting yourself do nothing. Sometimes, um we we think because we do nothing we're not productive um at least for me um and i had to get out of the mindset of me sitting on the couch or um or just sitting in bed um it's not necessarily me not being productive it's a way of showing up for myself because i need a break or i need a moment to just breathe um so a next one is watching something from your childhood personally i am a big 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 um um person on old cartoons and everything so one of my favorite shows till this day my mom thinks it's weird but i enjoy it i like to watch the show a different world it's about um students um who go to hillman college who um just the journey throughout their time in college and it's a 90s show so i really like to go back and watch shows like that um eating fruit cleaning your room and your house um uh, repeating affirmations um so for me in my room i have des i've designated three walls i've designated in a gratitude wall um a affirmation wall and a um, questions wall um so every morning i try to get up um i express the ways that i'm grateful and i put them on my wall and then I try to think of affirmations, what affirmations that I might need, or the kind of, um, or even do like a quick internet search, be like, okay, how could this affirmation apply to my right now? Um, and so um, repeating the affirmations, like the song that I um, put on my, um, song play this for the week um the i am 
the chorus is a list of affirmations. So currently, I find myself every t- anytime I look in the mirror and and I'm just like, oh, Ayana, mm, what are you doing? I kind of stop. I stop myself. I'm saying, wait, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not going down that road. I start doing my I am affirmations. Um, uh, next one is getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. So if there's any clutter or anything that like it's just like sitting there, go ahead and just go throw that out. Uh, next, uh, playing games. I'm a big game player. Um, just this past weekend, I was playing card games with my roommate. Um, and next, stargazing. I like personally, I like to sit and stare at stars, look at the moon. So whenever I can, even though it's really cold outside, um, <laughs> it's really cold outside. Uh, whenever I can see the moon from my apartment, I like to sit and just look at the moon because it's just so pretty. Um, and I just go from there, honestly. Those are just some self-care tips. Self-care is honestly when it meets you and everything. And here's another uh, thing of self-care ideas. Um, I made this a while ago. And just some of the ones is uh, repeating, uh, make a gratitude list, brain dump, go for a walk, uh, make your favorite meal, take a self-care day, hammock mint uh, next to Miller, even though right now you really can't do it because of the weather. Um, But it's honestly doing, this is just some examples. It's honestly what makes you happy and what um, is best for you. And Next, we're going to move toward the personalized self-care box, my fave. Um, So in my room, I have um, a little cube. Today is not in the cube and everything's not here. Um, But I have a little cube next to my bed that I keep of things that make me happy or might keep me calm or... uh, just items that bring me joy um and this is something that you could adopt and you can honestly you can like put in a box put your like fave five items and keep it moving from there um and you can grow it as you go um so all your steps to make your self-care box you just have to gather your items decorate or designate a container um mine is just a little small cube that i got from aldi um you never know what you can find in aldi Uh, (laughs) um love it um aldi it's like a little gray box and it's easy to move around it's not too heavy um and then third you use the box when you want it or you need to um and you can continue moving and um using the box and you can add to it whenever you want to. So some sample items are a journal, handwritten cards, some photos, your favorite fragrance, coloring items, coloring book, some affirmations, items that bring you comfort, tissues, some DIY items. It could be DIY items that I showed you today or any DIY items, honestly. Um, as far as DIY items, um, you can do a simple Google search or a YouTube search. Um, there's a couple of YouTubers that I like. Um, one did um, one use um, rose petal um, bath bars, and it was just it was it was adorable. They were in the shape of a honeycomb, and you can uh, um, you can do it so that works best for you. So if you have sensitive skin, you can do like a oatmeal bath bar or if you have oily skin or dry skin and it really to um do what best works for you so oh so i'm gonna show you my um some of my items within my personalized self-care box um so this is not the usual box that i have it in it's just for travel purposes um so starting off is what I was writing in during our self check in. Um, a little journal. It says "Girl Box." Um, I actually got this in a um, in a move in present. Um, so I just designated um, to my self care box, and whenever um, I use it, I try to journal in here or 
if you ever find yourself taking graphic printing science, uh, science? 1500 GPS 1500 uh, one of the projects is to make um, these um, and I can move a little closer and my whole idea oh my whole idea thank you MC for unsharing the screen um, my whole idea for this um, was to honestly be intentional for the things that I do and making sure that I'm showing up for myself. Um, so the first one is um, a journal that is reflection of the day. Uh, a reflection of the day. And, and the quote is, every day might not be a good day, but there is some good in every day. Um, and the bottom says, make the next day better than the one before. The next one is just a simple um, journal entry with the date and it says be intentional to make sure that I'm being if I write anything um uh, it can be just a brain dump whatever um uh, that my words mean things and um me writing down what I say is intentionally putting purpose to what I want to do and lastly is my self-talk one um so this one is just a check-in what do I need and I just and I put some reminders on here. One, slow down, take a break, and come back to it. Two, it's okay to cry. Three, you got this. Four, one of my favorite scenes from um, A Different World is with Debbie Allen and um, Jasmine Guy. They're doing therapy, and um, Debbie Allen's character goes, relax, relate, release. So that's my fourth one. Um, and five, um, I, it's a little saying that I like to say myself sometimes and hype myself up and others. Um, so number five is you are one and never the two and that's on period. Um, so <laughs> it's just five little reminders that I like to tell myself. Um, slow down, take a break and come back to it. Three, it's okay to cry. Th uh, me too, it's okay to cry. Sorry. Three, um, you got this. Four, relax, great relate to release and five you're one you're that one and never that two and that's on period and then at the bottom i do my thoughts um so those if you ever catch yourself taking a uh, graphic printing science uh, 1500 um you can make something similar to this this is actually this was actually a really fun project um and i actually haven't used these as much um, because I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm graduating soon. I don't want to run out of these because I really like these. Um, next, I do some coloring materials. Um, I like to draw. Uh, I'm not the best drawler, but hey, um, some good coloring pages um, and um, you're set. You can be crayons, markers, color pencils, some tissues, it's okay to cry. <laughs> also, some, also some um, stress toys. This one was in a gift. Both of these were actually in a gift. This one glows. I like to keep some hand lotion because you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, and just two of my favorite, um, scents, um, this is lavender, yay, um, <laughs> lavender is my favorite scent, um, and then lastly, these are two cards that I received, um, from friends, um, so I try to keep, you know, uh, Henry cards notes for friends this was at these two were actually cards from my um birthday this past year um i have i keep all these are just two of my cards i keep all of the cards um that i get from friends family anyone within that in my personalized self-care box um, so that is my personalized self-care box and honestly, it's whatever you can make it um, and want to make it. Um, it's what makes you happy, fits best for you and anything that you want it to be. Um, so that was that. Um, 
I'm gonna go back to share screen. Okay, so right now, um, just going into the rest of the sustainability workshop, the next workshop is composting for beginners. Um, composting for beginners, um, then the one after that is, sorry, let me pull it up. I'm posting for beginners. My screen just froze, sorry. Composting for beginners, biking basics, bike, then the next one, biking basics, commuting, local sustainability, and then DIY how to make beeswax. Um, to um, RSVP for any of those, just like you probably did for the, um, this one, you can go to the Office for Sustainability, sustainability website to RSVP for those. Um, these are really great. These are also being held by other um, uh, OFS workers and they're amazing. I know they're gonna be top notch. And then also, um, is the Student Sustainability Summit, which is February 27th at noon to two, uh, noon to two um, and you're able to RSVP for that and learn any details on the summit coming up next Saturday on our website. And feel free to follow us on Instagram and Facebook where you can stay up to date to what's going on uh, within the office. Um, and you can see our lovely places and programs and stay up to date and also volunteer, learn how to volunteer for um, Gibbs House or if you need something fixed for your bike, a bike shop. So yeah. And so thank you for joining me um, and dedicating to yourself um, to being um, so, being more into self-care and what self-care means to you um and just taking time out of your day to show up for yourself because we're also so busy people and sometimes we can caught up in i have to do this i have to do that i have to do that and worry about ourselves later um so this just this little hour is showing up for yourself and showing that i got my self-care um and like I said earlier, it all takes a little community to t help uh, us make sure we're taking care of ourselves and hold each other accountable. So thank you. If anybody have any questions or anything, I'll take them now. If not, that's good too. But thank you for showing up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Ayana. That was like really great. I don't know about you guys, but I needed that this week. And it was nice that we got to hear from you. Um, like she said, if you have any questions, I'll open up the floor once I'm done talking. But if you think of anything, I'm going to put our OFS email in the chat so you can send us questions at any time. I know Ayana went over um, a lot of the programs and projects we have. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. Um, other than that, sorry, I just forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we did record the Zoom session. So we will be sending this out to you for your own like personal reference if you want it. Um, so just keep an eye out for that email. And yeah, thank you so much, everyone.